Bros. Hello and welcome to the fifth official. My name is GMG. I don't want you to sleep on me because today we are joined by an action packed panel. We've got Wayne, Moses, Holmes, and what? Now, I've got some news for you guys. I'm not sure if, if, if you know, I'm not sure if you've heard it, um, but the bird is the word. And also, Arsene Wenger has announced he's leaving Arsenal Football Club. So, um, I mean, for, uh, <laughs> where do we start, really? Re really where do we start? Yeah, because really. as, as, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, when I heard the news, not sure about any of you guys, I was, I was heartbroken. Mm. And... You know, I've, I, I'm not sure if people know, but I'm an Arsenal fan, you know. I'm proud to be an Arsenal fan at times. Um, but it's all, it's all I've ever known. 22 years of Arsene Wenger, it's all I've ever known. Let's start with the good he's, stuff. He's been, he's been, sir, I do this. He's <laughs> been, he's, he's been, he's been, he's been an iconic figure at the club. Um, he's, he's given us many happy memories, but also some sad memories. I think I want to start with, I want to start with Wayne, yeah. actually. Um, give me your views. Give me your views. You know, when I first got the notification, I, I actually, I shouted yes. Mm. Like, I was, I was relieved. And then when it sunk in, I was like, wow. Mm, what's Wait, yeah. Wenger's actually leaving. Like, there, there are certain people who have probably seen Wenger more than they've seen, like, their own parents yeah. like, <laughs> over no, time. Like, true, but true. we've that, grown up with this guy. Yeah, that concerns me, though, because... When I saw it, yeah, Herms, I didn't we have. We shall get to you. Wait, no, please. No, wait, no, 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 please. I just want. I just. I just. I, just, I, just I, I have to. I have to say this. I don't understand how you can be jubilant when someone's going, but you have no clue who's coming in. That for me, that I don't know. That upsets me. When someone goes, someone's definitely gonna come in. But if you don't know who's coming in, why are you jubilant? What is there to celebrate? Mm. I'll explain why I was jubilant. Wh wh wow, we will come to you. Wayne, yes. continue. Yeah, no. I was, it's a relief. Mm. It's been probably, for me, it's probably 2014, he should have left, mm. 100%. Yeah, it just, Wenger leaving just relieved the whole sort of stress and tension from the Arsenal, the Arsenal fan base. It's been hanging over us for two, three years now. Everyone's got their own opinion. But now that he's given us time to celebrate him till the end of the season, he's given the sort of board and, and the decision makers time to find the right appointment. I just think everyone around Arsenal are, are, are just happier now that we know what's going on. Mm. But he could have gone any time after that. Mm -hmm. It's been three, four years of just embarrassment mm. and it's the right time. It's like a, str like a stress has gone off of all of our shoulders. Yeah. Although we don't know what is around the corner so and we'll probably get onto that in, in a little while. Oh, we will. It's, <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's a relief that we don't need to be talking about Wenger and what he's mm. doing anymore. Moses, give me, give me, give me, your, give me your view on this, on the situation. I'm happy he's got, you know my views on this. I've, so I've, I don't. No, no okay. Then, <laughs> I don't know right, his views. Okay, I've only just met him today. No, basically, <laughs> um, Wenger, had, I agree with Wayne, Wenger needed to go from about 2014, after the first FA Cup that we won, yeah. after that, well, the, after the hiatus of not winning trophies, yeah. that, first, that FA Cup that he won at, against Hull, he should have gone after that. Mm. I would say he kind of outstayed his welcome, which is sad to say for a legend, but he outstayed his welcome. He wasn't implementing new ideas. He wasn't make. He wasn't improving players anymore. Mm. He wasn't buying the right players. He wasn't. The club became stagnant. And then after that, if I'm giving you so many negatives, when yeah, why, what yeah, really and truly, right? what, what what like you don't stay in a bad relationship that. for no reason. Mm. Like you know. Although Arsene Wenger gave me many 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 happy moments. At the end of the day, I was supporting Arsenal because it was Arsenal. It got to a point where Wenger was, he, he became outdated. He wasn't improving the players and everything was becoming stale around the club. While I'm seeing other clubs progress, we were stagnating and even declining. It was time for Wenger to go. I mean, you well, some people do. <laughs> yeah. Now, I understand, I understand that. I personally, I still have, till today, I still have a lot of love for Wenger, yeah, but... You've said some. You said some stuff. Uh, you said um, you expressed that um, there's no more stress. Yeah. I disagree. I think there's more stress now. 
You've said that. What did you say just now? He wasn't improving the he team. Said he, he said that um, he wasn't. He wasn't. Well, hold on. He said he wasn't um, Im- improving anything. Okay, but what one thing I want to say is we are aware, yeah, that the board have also have like a big part to play mm. in what's happened to Wenger, and that's why I'm particularly intrigued to know when his book comes out. I'm the first one that's going to yeah, read it. I'm the that. first one yeah. that's going to read it because I, I really want to. I really want to know because I'm telling agree. you now. I'm telling you now. They brought Wenger down. Trust yeah, me, yeah, yeah. But He, bruv, he was. Was this? Was this? Was this? Was this? Was this? Was this? Was this the same energy you were bringing um, pre Wenger's announcement? Because I'm not too sure, sir. But, but, okay, let me tell you. <laughs> I have always been yeah. Mm. E- e- each year when everybody talks about Wenger out, Wenger out, Wenger out, I'm like, okay, no problem, Wenger out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about time he goes. But my question every time is. Jo, who comes in? Yeah. Yeah. That's my question. Yeah. But I will tell you this now that right now, for you said 2014. I don't. I, I think that's wrong. But I think right now. So when, the, wait, wait, wait so hold when, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I think right now is the best time that Arsenal are fully equipped for Wenger to go. We've got. We just brought in a director. We yeah. just brought. We've got um, a, a, a fitness a fitness coach. We've yeah. got recruiting. Do you get what I'm saying? We've got a good squad. So right now is the best time. And now, till now, if I ask you, who do you want? I don't know. Yeah. And I ask you, yeah. who do you want? We all still, it's question marks. Some, you know yeah, what I'm saying? It's not clear. Um, yeah, I think it was the right time to do it. I think. Sorry, but, but, but before, but, sorry, sorry. Before you continue with your garbage, um, <laughs> I mean, I mean, you, you, who, who, who do you support? Who do you support? Because I've seen you, I've, I've seen you in, a, I've seen you in, a, in many, in a many, station. many shirts. I've seen you in a West Ham PSG. Yeah. Ask, yeah. I mean, I mean, who are you? What are you? Wenger made me do that. Like, so Wenger made me do that. Hello? You saw me at United Talk. Yes, wow, you, you must leave. You are that. <laughs> you must. Now. You are. Now. Right. <laughs> you are, you're, you're not my boy. Now you're not my boy, though. Lost like you're lost in midfield. You are a liar. <laughs> you are a liar. Fam. In fact, well, I've even got a picture and I will leak it tonight. Oh, 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 oh shots fired. Okay. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of football. Yeah. I love a lot of teams. So yeah, I like to buy occasional shirts here and there. What Barcelona, PSG, Arsenal, Southampton. Manchester you, United. I ain't got Manchester United top they're chatting shit. But I've got the money to buy those those, those shirts, you get me? So you can't you can't get on to me. You get me? And I did say, whilst Wenger's still manager, I wasn't supporting that club. He's now out. And I'm now back an Arsenal fan. Look, bruv, it says the name fam. How many people can get their name on the back? Come on, bruv. An Arsenal fan wearing a man, 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 come out of here, man. Come out. Man, man United. Can, can I explain? Man why? United. <laughs> man United. No. Man United. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the proof? Wow. Where's the evidence? Wow, let's go. Let me know. What are you saying? Um, yeah, the answer that he, um, Benga had to say, like, the fact that he didn't sign the contract when his contract was running out and no one knew what was going on, that was killing us. Mm. That was honestly killing Oops. us. Sorry, sorry. That was killing the club, yeah. And the fact that he's got one more season left and the fact that he came early and said that, yeah, he's gone, bruv. The, the weight off our shoulders, mm. the weight off the shoulders of the players, it's all gone from, we see the relief. I think you, you have to respect relief. the man and how he's done it though. Pardon? Yeah, yeah I, respect, yeah, I, I think you have to respect him. Yeah, I believe that Wenger was killing the club in the sense of his stubbornness. Um, he's not moving with the time and moving with how football is moving nowadays. And he's still trying to do his old tactics, trying to bring players through, there's so many things that he's trying to do and it's not working let's be honest and you got to move on and by us moving on we've got to get rid of him well he's going anyway ain't he? In, 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 in terms of in terms of the manner um i'm gonna pose i'm gonna pose a question i'm gonna pose that question what do we think really happened i think he was, was forced out sacked? yes yeah. i think it was yeah. forced out i thought i think on what it, grounds Really? <laughs> on what grounds? No. Why would you give somebody a two-year contract to then fire them a year later? To see reports, if they... reports, reports are saying that, um, that they didn't shit. have a replacement. Wenger was meant to leave last season. Right. And the fact that they didn't have a replacement ready, no, no, no. that's why they gave The reports years. were that he wanted to leave last year. Yeah, yeah. Not because... I of, uh, not because, not because of he didn't think he can do the job anymore, but like the fans, yeah, the abuse that they were giving him, he just thought, he was really upset. Yeah. He couldn't take it anymore. So he said, I want out. But they said, we don't have anybody. So there's no way you can go so out. Why, you so, what I'm so, so why give him a two-year contract? That was a shield. Why two? Why two? Shield. Why not one? Shield. 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 Why give him one? One-year contract. Everyone knows you're leaving then. Mm. That was a good shout. That's a good shout. Do you know what Gary Neville said that. Do you know what it is? 
he was yeah Wenger was full star because I don't think yeah, if if Wenger always went by this mantra that I will always honor. see out my contract always honour my contract if he always if he was always going to honour his contract do you think that the guy that wanted um, uh, uh, the guy that was getting raises after finishing fourth every season do you think that this guy wanted to leave the club after getting raises every single season no it got to a point where Maybe after this season, they wanted to see if he could turn things around. And when they saw that it was actually becoming worse, because you have to bear in mind, Arsenal only finished a point behind Liverpool this season, uh, last season. And the, and if you look at the decline from then, do you think that the board were happy, especially once they saw empty seats in the stadium? It got to a point where the board just weren't having it. They wanted him out. Like you said, I don't, really I don't think we've been better equipped, but that doesn't Till mean, now, yeah. yeah, I don't think we've been better equipped as like structurally. But that doesn't mean he should have just stayed here because, by default, basically. He shouldn't have just stayed here for three years just because, well, we can't find anyone else. There are better managers and there are better men. Coaches. Even, even like some better, female yes. coaches that could probably take this further. Yeah, but you've got, you've got to remember that he's That's been there for 20 years. Exactly. To get, yeah. to get a man out just like that and bring someone I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. It's, not, it's not extremely easy. difficult. It, it isn't easy I mean, at all. I mean, Let me tell you this. It's important. It's important. It's been picked. His successor. Let me and tell you this. Let that. me tell you this. It's impossible to get. Well, are you aware that it's impossible to get a replacement for Wenger? Are you aware? I, of no, that? but the thing is, I don't want a replacement for Wenger. Okay. I want somebody who's going to take this squad and this team further yeah, yeah, than yeah, Wenger. There are, there are many managers who have the same philosophy and values that Wenger does, but I think Arsenal fans they still want a big name. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. that's what I'm telling. It's a really. This is really difficult. What's happening right now is going to be really difficult. It's, it's intriguing to see, but yeah. it's going to be really difficult to pick <clears throat> one. Before before we discuss and move on to you know the potential candidates for Wenger's job, um, I mean, do we remember the the good times? Oh, yes, one hundred percent. Can you guys share your I don't know your your, your moments with, with with Wenger yeah. if you can? For me. Good no, do you know what? Let, let me actually because I man. think I know the one guy. that the majority are going to say. Your man United. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know. I think I know the one that the majority are going to say. But yeah. for me, one of my happiest memories is after that 2014 FA Cup final when mm. we beat Hull. The relief and the joy and the happiness on that man's face when everyone was like chucking him in the, yeah, in the yeah, air. Yeah. yeah, everyone. We. I was at the the trophy presentation when it was on like the bus around Islington. I was there screaming my my heart out. I was happy. Like true fan, true fan. I haven't I, I haven't felt my team win a trophy for nine years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So for me, that's one of my lasting. Do you lasting not think moments. that epitomizes Wenger? Wenger's well, not 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 really his his reign, but him as an individual, as in. Legacy. Is, yeah, because we, 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 we lost, we were losing 2-0 mm, at, at Hull. No. We were losing, we were losing 2 hill, 2 nil, and yes, we did come back and yeah. win 3-2, but that, that moment when you're, lo- when you are losing 2-0 to Hull in a final. Yeah. Do you not think that just shows that, you know, that was maybe, the time, the time was up. That no, was, there was that, beauty that in was the comeback. What? There was beauty in that comeback. Yeah, there, there was, was beauty it, in that. It was magical. Yeah. But there had been stuff before that, that, yeah. so, like, that was the season we, it was his 1,000th game and Chelsea battered us. Yeah, 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 it was, yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. So there were signs before yeah, that that he was losing, losing his, his magic. After the FA Cup, after we won the FA Cup in 2014 after Hull, that for me was the moment because that was the season that he was taking massive losses, especially against Chelsea. Um, I think even though we don't have the, they didn't, we didn't have the structure in place that we do now with people like Sven Mislintat and um, the director of football, he should have gone in 2014 because that's when the decline was rapid. Ems, um, so your happiest moment? My favourite moment, and I think it's the moment that epitomises Wenger Ball, right. was the Jack Wilshere goal against against Norwich, Norwich yeah, yeah. where yeah. they both were just went yeah, like yeah, that yeah, yeah the flips and it was just like that 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 to me fit Jack Wilshere yeah Sorry. that to me show that epitomises everything that Wenger wanted. From football. Okay. Jack Wilshere <laughs> passes the ball to Santi Carzola. Santi Carzola passes it back to Jack. Jack is on the edge of the area, passes it to Olivia Giroud. Giroud then says, Here, you can have it back. Ping, ping, passes it back. Then Wilshere says, No, no, I want you to have it back. He passes it back. Then, then Giroud says, No, you're having the ball back. I want you to have it. And then Jack Wilshere then. Th- decides to do to just pass it into the back of the net i couldn't believe it it was a goal of 
sheer joy. It, it, it fills my heart with joy. Well, yeah, that was yeah. probably one of my favourite Arsenal goals. Forget the Henri goal where he flicked it up and spanked it in against United. Yeah, that Andrew. was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was that was my favourite oh, Arsenal goal, and that that, that crazy, gives me you know, the, the happiness. <laughs> uh, that gives me the, um, when it gets to, it gets to a point with with Arsenal. Let, it gets to a point. Nice. Actually, I'll I'll leave that later to the bad times. Yes. Yeah. Um, I've got two. I can't pick from one. One is when we went to Old Trafford and Sylvan Wilton scored. Oh yes, the, the yes. winner. Um, yeah, I, think, I, think, I think that I think that whole That's performance was yeah yeah that was that meant a lot to me and then I think the Invincibles as well mm-hmm. um, yeah that was like it affected my persona like how I thought I just thought I, was, I myself thought I was undefeated mm-hmm. yeah, really yeah, trust yeah, me I I, trust me Will Todd um, that that tapping and how he was on his knees and Kanu jumped over him and he was going like this, mate, that was just a beauty. And then having to celebrate the Premiership. Oh, no. Hey, being a gooner, yeah, I'm telling you, fam, bruv. Yeah, bruv, I'm a real gooner, do you get what I'm saying now? But that was, that was, that, that was tremendous, man. To, to, to win the trophy at Old Trafford when Sir Alex Ferguson is there. Come on, man. Yeah, man. Um, most Wait, I haven't asked you. I haven't asked you. And the reason is because you need to. You, 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 I, I need. I need something from you, Jay. I need something from you. Are you an Arsenal fan? Do you, no, no, no. I don't care about. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> what did I say? Out. Yo, That's what that said. Oh, Out. Okay. No, I'm joking. Okay. Your, your, your happiest okay. Arsenal United. My name. most recent one probably, probably was when it, when it the it. Barcelona when um, Arsenal scored. That one, I lost my like. Mm. I ran upstairs, lost my voice, everything. Because yeah, we were cool. out of that game. Like no one, no one believed that we could beat Barcelona and we beat Barcelona at home and I'd say Invisibles. Yeah. That Barcelona game, my mum's a Barcelona fan. Um, at that time, Arsenal, we had Bentner, Shamak, bruv, there's so many names in that Scolacci. team. Scolacci, De Giroud, and we had no hope. We had no hope. And the fact that we actually won that game from an Arshavin winner, because I even remember Arshavin was even on his decline as well. And getting that win, bruv, well, madness. What what was the reason that Wenger went down the way he did? Stubbornness. Stubbornness. Stubbornness, Stubbornness in terms of what? And also when we moved to the new stadium, he wasn't um he wasn't backed enough. Yeah. Can I just say the board, board the chairman? But that could, that could be because of the fact that we didn't actually have the money to When I look back at that. So I give him a lot of leeway from about 2007 to about 2012-13. When I give him a lot of well, leeway, leeway between well, that year. I, he wasn't backed and I will give Wenger credit from about 2007 to about 2012-13. After that, he started getting 35 million to pay for Alexis Sanchez, 42 million to pay for Ozil, 49 million to pay for Lacazette, 49 million to pay for Obama Yang. You can't tell me he wasn't backed after those years. But between 2007 to about, once we got into the new stadium, to about 2012, 13, he, he, he wasn't backed. Um, he was having to sell his best players like Fabregas. He was having, like, Fabregas was getting sold. Um, Van Persie was getting sold to solve a problem for United to get a 30 um, goal a season striker. Yeah. When I look back at that, I respect him even more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I do. Honestly, 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 it's an impossible, it's an impossible with for you with to the do that. that we have. It's an impossible act bro, to do. Bro. Do you know what? It's impossible. With that, that, with that, that period. That we, had, we continued consistently finishing Champions League spots. To be sure, we did have a good team. What are you talking about? But what, but what, but what is, but. But then for every, every one of those players, you've still got a Seth Fabregas, a Samir Nasri, you've got a, um, Cleb. Cleb, you've got, you need a team. You need a whole complete team. You need a whole complete team. Fabregas was winning titles with Cleb and them, man. So what? No, but, no, 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 no. You were giving Gallus number 10. That man, that man, that man United, every man United team that's been there has been a good team. Apart from, apart from the last time they won the league. Do you know what? That team's trash. That period between, like you said, 2006. Six, seven, and when Urzel signed, two thousand and fourteen, we probably played the best yeah, football. football oh, five, honestly, plus look years. at clips. Yeah. Even look at clips. even though we weren't winning things, I think what what sort of changed with Wenger is we got the money, whatever. We started buying better players, mm-hmm. but the football fell off. Yeah, we didn't seem to have like a footballing identity. We weren't mm. playing. We haven't played good football, I believe, for probably three years minimum. Yeah, so in in that sort of Emirates period when. 
we moved in sort of 2006, 2007, we were playing fantastic football with the likes of Fabregas, De Nilsson, Song, Nazri, Arshavin, etc, etc. 2011, things just went downhill and Wenger was trying to bring back that peak, Wenger ball as, as people call it, but for certain, the last three, four years, we haven't played good football. So the last time I remember us putting in a top quality season was probably 2011. I think that's and other where... Teams have caught up. Other teams have caught up. Like, Pep has caught up. Um, managers like Klopp has caught up Why? in the way that they're... The... In, in, in terms of the way they play. I honestly think my view of Wenger has gone, down, gone downhill so much to the fact that I think he's a dinosaur. I think he's outdated. Yeah. He is now no longer an elite coach. Why are City better? F- forget just I, the money. I forget just the money. Just the way that Pep has them playing. Quality of players. Th- I, but the way Pep has them playing in general, I don't think that another manager can go there and make them play. I think another manager can go there and make them win the league, but not in the style that they win. Of course yeah. not. Yeah. So Pep is making, no matter, where, no matter where Pep goes, the brand of football stays with him. So no, Wenger, I don't think, if he goes to PSG, which I don't think he's going to, but let's say he goes to PSG and wins the league, I'm not going to rate that. But do I'm you not going to rate do that. You not, because do he's you, not going to be, it's not, it's, he's, he's not the same anymore. Do he's, you not think dinosaur. the players have more of a responsibility to take than Wenger? 100%, yeah. I have No, Wenger does. No, Wenger. 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 Wenger does go, go, for it. I, Wenger. go for it. Tell me. Yeah. But that's, but wouldn't you, what do you say that's... Most of it is Wenger. Wouldn't you say that's Wenger's type of management? That's how we manage it. Exactly. But that's, that's, how he does. That's not a positive, though. Back in the day, he was dealing with men. He's not dealing with you anymore. You as a person, yeah, if you are continuously given a chance, yeah, would you not appreciate that yeah. from the person that's giving you the chance? Or would you take it for Would you not? Would, exactly. Mm-hmm. And I'm talking about you now talk as a player. This guy is giving you a chance every single time. Mm-hmm. And people are saying, listen, you need to... The fans, yeah. even yeah. inside, yeah. probably the players are even saying you need to... But he keeps saying, no, you can do it. Keep playing. Come on, man. The last, last few seasons, I would say they've let him down quite a bit. But he's not helped himself with sort of his stubborn decisions with things like tactics. Um... He had a sickness for playing players that weren't informed, just giving them too much belief and allowing them to get away with stuff. So when you have that belief, you should probably be stepping up a bit more. So they have a lot of responsibility for the recent years, yeah. Let's let's yeah, let's let's get let's let's jump into it. Um who do we think is gonna replace Wenger? And I don't want just names thrown out. I want a pl- I want at least a minimum of two players. From each of us, and I want substance managers. to it. I want our yes. managers. Sorry, sorry, mm. sorry, managers to replace Wenger. I mean, players. Can I, can I ask a question? Former um, players, former players. Former players, yeah, former <laughs> players and managers to replace you, Wenger. You clearly want a former player. And I want, <laughs> and I want, I want <laughs> substance to well, why. What's your question? Go on, um, with me, I don't know whether we're going to do it short term or long term. Mm. That's my only problem. In the sense of, do we bring a manager that's only going to be there for three seasons, mm-hmm. yeah. or do we bring a manager that's going to do a Wenger ten? Five. The thing is, I don't. I, mean? I think in football in general, I don't think anyone's going to do, do a Fergie or a Wenger. Or, or I, 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 I think the max that you might get now is seven years. Yeah, between five and seven years, I think that's the max that you're going to get. Okay. I would prefer that we done that. Who I want mm-hmm. is Allegri, but I think we missed that boat. I think last season, because he signed a new deal, mm-hmm. I think he's enjoying. Alleg- his, Alleg- why Allegri, why Allegri, Allegri, why? What, what, what is so good about Allegri? I mean, he, I'm impartial. Yeah. <laughs> but why would you want Allegri? I think, to me, he's the best tactical manager in the world. We saw it against Tottenham. Exactly. He um, game hmm. changed he, that game maybe, maybe on his own. Bottom jobs, but yeah. <laughs> maybe. Who's, okay, but whose team is that Juventus team? Who, 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 it's who, his. Who? It's his. Conte had, apart from Chiellini and Buffon, Conte had a spine of like Vidal. No, give me credit. Give me credit. Allegri's been Allegri has worked wonders with that team. And he, what he does, what I like, and one of the criticisms I always had of Wenger, he doesn't game plan. Yeah, yeah. If we're yeah, 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 yeah. If yeah, Allegri's in a big game, he's playing five at the back. Yeah. If, it's that, a, yeah. if it's a home game, he's playing two up front. Who I want is Allegri, who I think will get it. Mm-hmm. And I don't want it to be true, but I think they'll give it to Arteta. What did you just say, my, uh, my guy? Do you know what? You think the board will yeah. give it to Arteta? Yeah. Do you know what? I think because uh, one... That's the security. Oh, security. Security. <laughs> Get security. security. Listen, listen, listen. listen. I said last week can, I can, can I just say something? Can I just say something? I think that they're going to give the job to Arteta. I think they've just got this idea that what happened with Pep at Barcelona is going to happen elsewhere. And the fact that Arteta has been at Arsenal, been at Man City, I think that they're going to give it to him. If we could get Allegri, then that would be brilliant. He's should be option A. I just think we've missed that 
miss that boat. So for me, I'd be happiest with Luis Enrique. Just say something. I don't know if you've seen um, Gazidis, um interview, yeah. but what they said in the interview is That's that they are saying. looking for somebody who is going to follow um, the values. Arsenal's philosophy yeah. and values. So Everything. that would take um, Allegri out the window. But I will say it depends how Arsenal want to do it. Mm-hmm. If they want to go for, OK, let's give somebody, let's forget about the values and let's just give someone a chance to do what they do. Or we go for, all right, let's go with what he said. Let's mm-hmm. go with our values. Then I don't know about... I don't know. That's what I'm saying. It's hard. No, then, no, listen, no, no, no. You can give me no, a list no, 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 no. of... No, 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 no. I'll tell you why. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why. You cannot get away from this. Sorry, sorry. You cannot get away from this. Because on this show, you said Thierry Henry or Vieira. So back your chat. Yeah, Thierry right, Henry right, for right, what? Right, hold on, Back hold your on, chat hold now. On, because on, this rattle is waiting for you. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Let me tell you something. Go on, tell me. Right. The best times that we've ever... <laughs> you haven't even allowed me. Yeah, because okay. you, 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 you didn't wiffle it, wiffle it. Okay, 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 wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You know. The reason why I wanted a next player mm-hmm. in Vieira or Henri was because I felt like a lot of love. Those players that are playing right now don't know what it means to be a true gooner. And I'm telling you, Vieira and Henri knew, know what it is to be a true gooner. That's why I. That's the. That's the reason why I went behind that. The same Thierry Henry saying? that loves all Man United players and right. hasn't said something nice about it's Arsenal it's, it's, in. It's, it's, I don't it's, even know how it's, many it's, years. It's his job. It's his job at the, the, end, of, nice job at the end of the day. It's his job. It's Gary Neville's job, but he loves however, Man United however, every day. However, it's his job at the end of the day. But I'm telling you the reason why I said that. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, but I for me, a name that everyone is not talking about for me is Laurent Blanc. Cool. I'm so, not saying I'm not saying give it to him. I'm not saying give it to him. I know he's been out of. I know he's been out you know of. What? I, I, of I did ask people not to just throw names out there for me. <laughs> Laurent Blanc, fantastic. Cool. Um, I'm gonna throw a name into the mix, right? And none of you are probably gonna agree. Why do you want Laurent Blanc? No, 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 no. I didn't say I want. I didn't say I want. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I said, I said. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, cancel. Listen to what I'm saying. No, no, no. I do this. So, Jens Lehmann. No. What are you doing? Wait, wait. What are you wait, doing? Wait, wait. Hey, yo, get wait, out, man. Wait, I get this out. I'll drag you out. I'll drag you out. I'll drag you out. I'll drag you out. <laughs> wait, I'll drag this guy out. Guys, guys, listen. I did not say I want Laurent Blanc. What I said was stop putting stupid names in and let's be reasonable here and give me names that are like good enough for the job. People are giving me names like, um, Jens Lehmann, are you crazy? Are you crazy? Are you okay in your head? Jens Lehmann, come on, man. That's what I'm saying. Let's be, I'm trying to help him, the host. The guy's lost. I'm trying to help the host. I'm giving him a name, Laurent Blanc. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I did not say I want Laurent Blanc. No. You just asked, you just asked me, yeah. You just asked me, why do I want Laurent Blanc? That's what I'm saying. Let's bring adequate names. From <laughs> three good names, fam. Yeah. Lehmann, That's what I brought you Laurent Blanc. I can okay, tell you what. Wait. What is Jens Lehmann's role? What is Jens Lehmann's role? Please at? go away. Go wait, wait, away. Wait, wait, wait. What is his role at the moment? This is, yeah, he's a goalkeeper. Coach. I don't think he's a goalkeeper. No, he's not. Yeah. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Even the goalkeeper. Wait, hold on. The goalkeeper. So what? Hold on. Mr. Mr. GMG. Yes, Mr. GMG. Even the goalkeeper that he's doing at Arsenal. Check. Yeah. He's killed him. He's not a He's killed Czech. You don't have a he's goalkeeper coach. He's yeah, not a goalkeeper coach. Whatever it is. So check, what? Check. So, so what does he do? Your goalkeeper coach check. Look at Czech. Look at Czech. Look at Czech. If, if Czech is, speak, if Czech is speak. dying. I think, I thought about this over there. I thought, wait, Jens name is at Arsenal. We're bringing in a German backboard. What does Lehmann do at the moment? I don't know what a Lehmann does at yeah, Arsenal. We don't. I think, I so think, therefore... So, but then he should become manager. Not that he should become <laughs> manager. He, not, he, he, goes, not, he all of a sudden has no role should. and not now should. manager. Not, not should. You know not should. Laws, right? Not should. However, it's not should. Person. Not should. Not should. No, listen, listen. This is just the name of the hat. I, I don't, it's, it's not me. It's not me. Jens Lehmann. But you I think... I think, I think that... It, Maybe maybe it's a possible no. plan for Arsenal. No, I don't know. Isn't. Just just oh, just for the, just for the viewers out there. Just, just for the viewers out there. Just just have a listen to my point. Sorry, sorry, sorry is a very good manager. However, he's very old too. Are you aware of that? Yeah, he's in the sixties now. That's what I'm saying. He's, old. he's a very good manager. Yeah, he would be in my top three. Angelo, you would be in my top three. <laughs> does not lift up my skirt at all. No, no, no. Listen, Angelotti is tired. We like every type of. 
Ancelotti is expired. Ancelotti is expired, please. Okay, yeah. I don't want Enrique and I don't want Ancelotti. They don't lift my skirt up. It's more a case of, like, I'm just thinking to myself, I expect you to do well when you've got MSN in your team and you've got 100 goals in your team. You you are going to score 100 goals. And if Ancelotti, I expect you to do well if you've got Kron in your team. That's that's Ronaldo, by the way. Um, I expect you to do well if you've got Ronaldo in your team. Like those, the, I need I need somebody that's going to make these players um, that are actually going to make these players improve. And I think those players, those managers are man managers as opposed to coaches who will lift up my skirt. We know. Sorry, Allegri. Let's 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 get that. Ancelotti is Ancelotti is a natural winner. Yeah, he's a. He's let, a he's let me a tell you. Winner. Let me tell you a key attribute that I need from the manager coming in. I need uh, there needs to be a connection, yeah, with the new manager and the new stars of tomorrow because this team needs heavy investment. So he needs to be able to attract. You Straight away, hold on hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He needs to be able to attract the minute he comes, the some of the best players in the world. Straight away, and what I'm saying with that is Champions League time three times. You can't attract. I'll take Ancelotti well, if we finish in the if we win Europa League, because then we'll be in the Champions League. Yeah. I'm not taking Ancelotti if we don't no. win the Europa Ancelotti's League. Ancelotti's dying, dying man. I don't think we're gonna. Ancelotti will be in my top. Three. Not. Looking at it, I'm Ancelotti will be in my top. But if we win the Europa job. League, I will take it. I'll, I'll take it. I'll He's take it. But if we're if um, we're gonna be in, in, in if we're gonna be in Europa League again next season, I don't want Ancelotti. That sounds weird, but I have my reason behind that. I just don't think that Ancelotti is going to be able to do what he needs to do. We need a. I think we need a coach. Mm, yeah. We need a coach. coach. And, and, and Ancelotti's not that. Mm. He, he deals with stars and he does it well. I but. I mean, did you, did you give did you give me a name? In fact, last points. No, I want a name. I want a name. Do you know? I, I like Louis, I like Luis Enrique. I want Allegri, but I would ha- be happy. With I want a name. Luis Enrique. Allegri. Luis Enrique Mustafi out. <laughs> oh my god he needs to go all of this about Luis Enrique had Barcelona he had Messi he had Neymar he had Suarez he bought Neymar he had to make that work if it didn't work what then you guys will be on to he bought Neymar he made Suarez and Messi work and they became the best front three that you've seen so how can you now get on to Luis Enrique bro he won Champions League he won the league let him come to Arsenal and, and he suits the football we've got Aubameyang we've got Lacazette Mkhitaryan Ozil he can do wonders a name you said Blanc. Wait. Why are you starting? Listen, I, I did I not say Blanc. I you said if we are putting names in the hat, let's put in good names. Okay. Lauren Blanc and is that's a good why name. I Lauren so Blanc is a name. good name. So, 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 what so, name so, do you, so, you want? Wait, 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 hold on. So if he's if he's not good, if he's a good name, what's Luis Enrique? No, but I didn't say I didn't say anything oh, bad yeah, about yeah, Luis Enrique. I only said I just except, want a name. I, 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 I said except name. Yeah. Let, me name. T- let me let me tell you something. Yeah. <laughs> name. Uh, name a name. If it's let not me, a name, no. we don't want to hear yeah, it. Let, let me, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm gonna get to it. Let no, we something. want the name. This Arsene Wenger thing has affected me a lot. Man. <laughs> <laughs> so until that, I've been having dreams. You get me. Uh, one of the dreams that I had, yeah, is Wenger was telling me, yeah, <laughs> that. Uh, He's going to talk to Zidane. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm not sure if that can happen, if we can bring Zidane in, but I don't know. So I've got... Luis Enrique. Allegri. Enrique. Oh, sorry. And I've got Zidane. Um, I'm not sure what you guys think about that. No, no I didn't say um, Zidane. You oh. did. Please, please <laughs> oh, let us know. I said it was um, a dream. <laughs> at TFO Show, what? YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. <laughs> let me know. Did... He... Wow, wow, wow. Zidane. You didn't say um, name though. Pardon? Exactly. No, you no, 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 no. Wait, wait. Listen, 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 listen. listen, listen. <laughs> um, make sure you click the link below as well. Um, let us know what you think. And subscribe too. Thank you. GMG, don't sleep on me. Thank you.